All right, I'm here with Scott Herrick from x ray Pantone. Scott, why don't you tell me about the Exact? All right, so first let's take kind of a, a walk through of the Exact on the, on the outside and the hardware side. So as you can see, first thing is in the Exact, we have no buttons on here. So the screen itself is all touchscreen, so we kind of got rid of all the buttons that we used to have, and we just now make it touchscreen. So if you want to go into a menu structure, you can just simply easily just touch the screen and take measurements. And if you need to navigate, you can just simply go back to the home button and you can go to some, some other functions inside of the instrument. So, so it's all very simple, very easy. It's all done through a touchscreen application um, on the instrument. From the, the rest of the body, if we take a look at the bottom side of this instrument, um, one of the things, the changes that we made to this instrument from our previous devices is we actually have a lithium ion battery in this, okay? That lithium ion battery is actually plugged directly into the uh, circuit board. Uh, we did that because some of our older products had um, battery contacts, and if those contacts got dirty, then they weren't getting charged very good. So we kind of removed the contacts and just simply put a, uh, a direct hard wire to the battery. Being that this is a lithium ion battery, um, this does meet all of the f new federal laws for lithium ion batteries, providing that the battery is actually inside of the instrument and the cover is actually on the battery cover. You do meet the federal guidelines for all the uh, lithium ion batteries for travels and things like that. The calibration standards on the bottom, the calibration acts, plate acts for two things. Number one is there to, to calibrate. Number two is there to actually cover up the optics and actually acts as a cover. So when you take a measurement of this instrument, that calibration plaque moves out of the way when you take a measurement, okay? So how I usually kind of explain the calibration standards is you see this little white tile here, okay? That white tile, think about that as like a $500 pair of sunglasses. Sounds a little odd, but that's how I usually talk about it. So how would you clean a $500 pair of sunglasses? Well, you most definitely wouldn't go out to the press room and grab a shop rag and clean your glasses that way. You probably wouldn't grab your shirt sleeve and clean your $500 pair of Ray-Bans that way. You would probably grab lens cleaners um, or clean cotton cloths. Things are designed specifically for those glasses. Same thing as that calibration standard, okay? That calibration standard is what this instrument calibrates to. So you don't want to use an old shop rag. You don't want to use shirt sleeves because it has chemicals from your detergents on them. So you want to use a glass cleaner, a uh, lens clean cleaner, um, or like a cheesecloth or a chem wipe or something along those lines to keep that cal plaque clean, okay? So clean that, make sure that's clean on a weekly basis or so, depending on how dirty the environment's in, um, but that will automatically calibrate. So if you leave the instrument in up position, about every 24 hours, this instrument, every now and then, will ask to be calibrated, and it will go through a calibration procedure. Um, it could be sitting on your desk, plugged in, or just sitting there, and all of a sudden the instrument will take off and start taking measurements. It's not possessed, it just realizes it needs a new calibration, and it will go and do a calibration on its own when it needs it. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for that overview, and we'll dive into some more features in the next video.